Breastfeeding is seen to be one of the most natural things to do, but it has a learning curve. So with my props today, I'm really going to show you how to um, breastfeed. The best way to breastfeed is to start by preparing yourself for breastfeeding before you actually get to breastfeed your baby. And how do you do that? Let's talk about the breast first. So a mummy's breast or a woman's breast uh, starts to prepare as soon as she gets pregnant. So if you look, if you, you know, like cut um, a breast of, okay, not really cut, but well, cross section, a breast of a woman who's not pregnant, a woman who's pregnant and a woman who's breastfeeding, you'll notice that they are very different inside. We have hundreds of thousands of milk ducts. Those are little pockets that where milk is stored. So when you get pregnant, those pockets rise up and start to uh, prepare themselves to fill with milk eventually. You form a lot of fat uh, around the breast just to cover and protect the breast. And that's usually one of the ways many women get to know they're pregnant because their breasts become bigger and they start to become very sensitive because of that change. And that whole preparation goes on in pregnancy such that by 28 weeks of pregnancy, uh, and sometimes are there for some women, if a baby is born, the woman's breast will actually produce milk. But how do you get there? How do you make sure that you have the right breast or that your breast will be able to produce milk for your baby? First and foremost, you need to keep your, the skin around your breast moisturized and the skin around your nipple. The nipple is the outer part, the sharper part, and you have a darker part around the nipple, which is called the areola. Those two areas get very dry during pregnancy just because of the change of hormones. So you need to moisturize it. If it gets dry, one of the reasons or one of the ways you'll tell it's very dry, you'll see some little white lines around it. And that shows you that it's dry. So moisturize it once or twice a day. You can use the lotion that you use regularly or you can use any natural oil on it. Some people prefer to use what is called nipple cream and all that is fine. So prepare that area by moisturizing it. Dryness sometimes becomes too dry so that when the baby comes to suck on it after bath, it easily cracks. So you want to avoid that. The second thing is you have three types of nipples. This is the ideal nipple. It's an outward nipple. And if it's outward, it means yes, you can breastfeed. But we have a nipple that is completely flat on the skin. So just to show you, it's flat like that. Now flat nipples are in two. You can have one flat that doesn't rise at all, or you can have one when stimulated rises a bit. If you have a flat nipple, try to tickle it and see if it will rise up. Because once it rises up, then yes, you have a good nipple. The third kind of nipple is inverted. That one is really difficult to rise up. It mostly will need surgery to actually get out. But it doesn't mean that when you have a flat nipple or an inverted nipple, just because they are not upright, you are doomed to breastfeeding. It's just good to note because you can prepare yourself for breastfeeding using what we call an artificial nipple. It's called a nipplet. And, and some people just call it uh, a, an artificial nipple, which you can place over the breast and you can encourage your baby to feed using that artificial nipple. So prepare your breast, moisturize it, tickle the nipple if it needs to be tickled, get help from your midwife or your doctor where that is concerned. If they can help you, you can get a lactation specialist who will guide you on how to prepare your breast for breastfeeding. Thank you, subscribe. For those moms who are breastfeeding, I want to encourage you that it's a good thing you're doing to your baby. Nothing can replace breast milk. So keep going. But I want you to know how the correlation between your breast, your baby, goes. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.